Hi everybody, it's Crystal. Um, I was doing my makeup yesterday, and somebody told me I did my makeup funny. I was planning on doing makeup tutorials anyways, but I thought I'd do one this morning, be, like as I was getting ready. And like, do I do my makeup funny? But um, watch and tell me like, and if like you think something like would look better, I, I don't know if you have any suggestions or. I think maybe, like, they didn't say, like, makeup was bad. They just said, like, I did it funny. Like, they'd never seen anybody do it that way. I don't know. So, we're going to see. <clears throat> okay. Um, I use tons of different brands of everything. So, I have to name off a bunch of stuff. Once again, nothing here is sponsored. Okay. I use the Bare Minerals Multitasking Concealer. I don't use, they have a, uh, the Prom Tom Foundation Primer, they have that, but I put that on actually after I put the concealer stuff on. Hold on and I'll show you. And a lot of people say that they don't get coverage with this or they don't like this or whatever. Um, I get pretty good coverage with it and it's really easy to touch up if you have to. And really, like if you use the oil blotting sheets, you don't have to touch it up that much. And I get complete coverage with it. Look, like I'm getting total coverage. Um, I've never had a problem not getting coverage, but I also, like, if my face is real broke out, which right now my skin is really clear, unless it has a reason, it's clear, and by the way, I use Cetaphil and have for, like, the last few years, since my dermatologist recommended it, use Cetaphil, I've used it on my face, and it's kept the breakouts down, and, and the oil control, so Cetaphil, and it's, like, nine dollars for, like, a huge bottle, you know, of each, you know, so it's like eighteen dollars for the like the wash and the lotion, but um, I don't use like any, like I use for like I like the charcoal like blackhead pore strips the Biore, um, and if like I'm having like a real problem the charcoal rub, but other than that I don't really use anything else on my face. you notice that a little bit of redness and that's the main reason I use foundation okay. I'm also taking an easy makeup wise this morning so I'm gonna be putting on less than I normally would but you guys are gonna get the gist of what I'm doing so but I don't know they were just like wow like one the, the my lighting was not very good but you know I, I, I don't know I guess I can do it in no lighting and then when they were shocked when they looked at me and noticed that it looked like even and fine this is the bare minerals prime time by the way and it's so soft and silky like i love this stuff i love the way it feels i kind of just laid everything out because i have stuff like at makeup everywhere and i haven't got the vanity together yet i did finish most of the rest of the stuff I'm doing myself, which I'm going to make another video on that, and I finished most of that today. I'm doing the trim in the morning, what's, uh, what's left because I have part of a cabinet closet over there that I have to do, and then I'm done with that, and I'll touch that anymore, so. I'm going to use the Bare Minerals um, Foundation Powder, which, hold on, I'm going to show you. There's the, like a, a technique to this. But, um, I don't remember what I was saying. Oh, yeah. Everything will be put together Monday, and then I'll put everything out and get my clothes up, and then I'll probably actually show my ring what I've done. Because I put a lot of money into it. Okay. If you start from the outside, work your way in, you see powder flop everywhere, you know, you're doing the right thing. And when you're putting on the brush, swirl the. When you're putting it on the brush, swirl the brush in it like that, and then I take it to the lid, because it's just easiest, and swirl it again, and then you get off the excess, so you don't waste it. Because it's not, it's not cheap, but it's not really expensive, you know what I mean? Like, it lasts a while, but it's like $40 for each one of these containers or if I, I buy the little sets because if you buy the little sets it's um I think $38 so I usually buy the little things and it does like probably two months but you know hold on and I'll show you what I use when I have like a lot of breakouts
you notice it's covering like everything. And through the day, if I do have to touch this up, I take um, a compact with me, Physician's Formula. See, I'll, I'll, I'll finish. Um, I take Physician's Formula, a compact. Hold on. I'm about to show you like what's happened. I bring it with me, and it's the Magic... Mosaic Multicolor Custom Face Powder Beige, Warm Beige. I got the darker color because it, it blends better when you're blending. Especially <clears throat> especially if you do like primer face, which I mean, I really don't. So, sorry, I haven't fixed my hair yet. Um, I just got out of the shower, threw on some clothes, and was like, let's, let's do this. Like, I told you guys, like, this is like somewhat like my passion project. Okay. Before, okay, before I put the mineral veil on, I'm going to put bronzer on. I don't leave it that dark. Hold on. <laughs> okay. And then I use, like, this bigger kabuki brush. And rub it in. Everywhere. So that it all looks up pale. I didn't see the sun all all summer. I didn't get to see the sun. I was sick, so I didn't really get to see the sun. And it was it was um the beginning of I guess fall whenever I was able to finally get out and about. Okay. Next we're gonna use mineral bell. I pat this on my hand. Okay. Mineral Bell gives you like a shimmer. And by the way, the bronzer I used was like the Too Faced um, Jolie um, bronzer. It's a very dark one. I'll show you, like, in a minute, I'll show you what I use when my face is really bad. It's also like highlights, etc. Which is always good. Highlight, highlight, highlight. Okay. Do the same thing you did before. And also a good thing about putting the bronzer on like first is one because it blends in. And two, you have a little bit of that bronzer left so that the stuff does not make you extremely pale because it will. I mean it'll make you lighter. Okay, a lot of people say they don't do this with their brush. I do, and I'll throw it if I don't. Or they're like, I use another brush for it. I'm like, why? Um, they're like, it's a blending brush. I'm like, well, why do I need to use another brush? I don't get it, but who cares? Um, okay, put all that up. Done with that. That. Okay, blush, um, I use, okay, on my face when it's really bad. I like the L'Oreal Nude Magic um, Liquid Powder. It's amazing. And just look through the colors, they match up. It matches up, like, perfect. Like, 100%. Like, if you're normally Creamy Natural, get Creamy Natural, it matches 100%. Like, I think I'm normally, what am I, I am. Um, Oh, I am um, creamy natural. <laughs> okay. Blush. I sometimes use like a L'Oreal cream blush too. I sometimes don't. Today I think I am there actually. So I'll grab it. I have stuff in like a caboodle. I can't wait to set it out on my vanity. And I can't wait to like to show you guys like how I put the do it yourself stuff like to to use because once you see it like to use it's a lot different. Okay, rub this on. This is the L'Oreal Visible Lift Blur Blush. Use on your cheekbones. You gotta do the the face to know you're doing it right. And I actually just use this to make my other stick. <laughs> And this is a pretty color, too. 
Okay. And on, as the other color goes, I actually use... Um, it's Estee Lauder. It's a I can't I can't see the color. Blushing Terezor, Terezor, but that's the color I use. <clears throat> I buy these in samples too. They're a lot cheaper, and this like okay, I've had this for two months, so it lasts like a really long time too. Like that. I'm a believer in blush, blush, and mascara. You know, are two things that I would never leave the house without. And yeah, I do put it like a little bit on my chin. And this is cool, like kind of using you guys as a mirror. Um, cause this is what I'm doing. It's like, it's, it's easier to use you guys as a mirror. Okay. Um, let me find my blush. Okay, my eyes. I use, um, I actually use two different eyeliners. And one I just got, I used another one before it, but I'm gonna tell you about the new one, not the other one that I was using. If I can find it, wherever it is, it's probably back in here. Come on. I swear I tried to be organized for you guys. I thought I got everything out that I needed. There is what I need right there. Okay, at least it didn't take long to find it. Okay, actually put this on first. It's Physicians Formula um, Sexy Booster. Ooh la la sexy. It came in Sexy Eyes Trio. It came with like two other eyeliners. Um, and just black. And I use it first. Try to use you guys a mirror for this. Okay. So I have that on and I just Put it on the top and the bottom. Like in the corners, like you can see, I, I, I just basically built them together. I didn't do anything special to the corner of my eyes. I don't. Okay, so that's the last time I'm going to use this. I'm going to use the other one in a minute. Okay. <clears throat> now I'm going to do my eyebrows to match up so that I can do the rest of my makeup. Okay, my eyebrows. I actually use a really cheap one of these it's color mates i think i get it at walmart and it's just brow powder dark dark medium brown that's all it is and i put some of each on there more of the medium than the dark of course with the lighting you guys should really be able to tell the difference before i do the other one but I don't know if I do, do I do my makeup funny? That's the question here. Or does the end result what matters? Who cares? Like, or do you have a suggestion? Do you suggest I do something a different way? What? And once again, let's keep that nice and positive. <laughs> I was thinking about like people. People can be so mean. Like I'm scared. Like I was scared. Like I wanted to post the last two years. But I've been just so scared to because it's the cyberbullying and people are so mean, period. And I mean, I'm a nice person in general, but I see how mean people are. Okay, get that done. That makes a bigger difference than you, th you would think so, women. Okay, this is my face so far. This is about eyeshadow. Eyeshadow is going to be the next step and then um, lip liner and we're done. Okay, I'm going to use the... Well, the same the same palette as the one with the bronzer. Okay, these can go in here. I'm trying to keep this stuff up because I'm just trying to. Actually, I'm gonna start up here. I'm gonna start. It's easier if you do it this way. Well, I put I put this white stuff on here, so when I go to like put the brighter stuff on the top, 
it goes on easier for one, and two, it is actually bright. <laughs> because you put so much dark on, you know, you end up just getting it so dark you can't get it light at all. So and that's what I actually started. Okay. And then we're going to go over that with <clears throat> just uh, um, the more white, which is like not a shimmery white, it's just a regular white. So I'm going to go over this whole, like the whole top of my lid with it, or the whole like above my lid, like below my brow, brow line, maybe, I don't, I don't know, <laughs> wherever, you guys see where I'm at. Okay, that's what I'd have done. And if you get a little bit of white down here, which I kind of did purposely, um, to me, I think it makes my, the rest of my eyeshadow stick better and keeps my eyeliner in place. Which, you know, that's a big pet peeve with me is with my eyeliner. People's eyeliner is all over the place. It's annoying to me. Alright, and then I use the brush. It's just a, it's an eyeliner defining brush. Um, the very, very thin one. I don't even know if you can see how thin it is. I'm taking it. There you go. But it's that thin. Okay. And I, I'm going to dip it in like a uh, moy, which is like a, a brownish green color. And I forgot I'm using you guys. Okay. I'm going to start, like, by doing that. And I'm going to start doing that on both eyes, actually. Okay. And then I'm going to take, and I'm going to go from right here, down across my whole lid, and across my eyeliner. Okay. And my eyes are brown, like, I don't know if you guys have noticed that, but my eyes are brown. I do lighten this, okay? By the way, like, don't knock it until you've seen it complete, because I do make it lighter. And you can see about how dark I do it. And that's right below where I have a bit light. Okay. Make sure I have enough on the other eye. Honey. Just put it over your eyeliner. Okay, I do that, and then I actually take a flat, one of the flat ones, and I, ooh, I'm gonna use another palette. Although, hold on, for what I'm wearing today, I think I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use a purple and a um, a purple and a pink. We won't use that one. Okay. Purple and pink. The, um, this Too Faced one. Um, and Trust Fab, with the Trust Fab, um, blush. I'm putting purple on it. We're gonna go right in the middle where we just were and literally pat that purple in. But you can put whatever color you want to on the inside of here. Like, that's the thing about it. Like, I use this as the outer ring, which I'm going to blend it and lighten it in a minute. But 
I mean, it's in these two colors on the inside. You can use whatever color, like, to match that day on the inside. It's kind of what I do. Leave with the blue. I leave with a little bit of blue in there. As long as the outside is the way it is, you know. And I just blend in a little bit of pink, if you can see. Okay. Now I'm going to use this brush. Well, actually, let me see if I, I think I have a fine brush. Yeah, okay. I'm going to use either this or this brush. No, I can't use this brush. I'll use this brush, okay. To uh, kind of get it all together, um, blend it. I'm going to use the Cherie out of the pink one again, which is the one I use the most. I'm going to use that to blend it. And then once again, take this, use the white. Here on top. Okay. And that wouldn't be done with the eyeshadow. And then on to mascara, and then lips, which are easy. Unless, like, I'm using lipstick, lipstick, which I'm not today, so. Like I said, I'm actually kind of keeping it simple and wider with my makeup today than I normally would. <clears throat> and on purpose, and the purpose isn't you guys, it's just, I'm going to decay the light today. Okay, first, I, I'm going to use, an, I use, this is a uh, Mary Kay mascara and I use it for lengthening mine are actually like kind of you know right? these are my natural lashes they're already kind of long and everything something I guess I'm thankful to for I guess mascara makes them always look better though look how much darker it makes my eyes look immediately on here though the mascara, like it isn't in person, it doesn't make it look that much darker, but on here it does. I wonder what's made my eyes like so dark to you guys. It's not a mascara. No, I know. I guess I'll, I'll maybe use less when I'm talking to you guys. No, I probably won't. I probably just won't. <laughs> I just probably let it be dark. Um, but I guess you probably can't really tell what color my eyes were before, and they're brown. the bottom okay next one I use typically is an Estee Lauder but I couldn't find it so I'm gonna um, compromise with the better than sex toothpaste mascara that I got for my birthday I'm going to substitute here and I'm just doing this for some vago boom to be honest thickness and it like really out there on this side. I like it like really like long out there on the, the outer end the way it's I feel like it's supposed to be. Then you know make the rest all thick and luscious. I don't know if you guys can see my lashes. Um there. That's how my eye turns out, by the way. You can tell 100% what it looks like there. And then lips. I'm going to keep it simple today. A little honor.
Okay. Thanks for watching, you guys. Um, subscribe, like, comment, <laughs> do something. Thanks for watching, you guys. Bye. This is Crystal.